Hi there, my name is John Kovac, and today we're going to talk about a subject that has long fascinated me, which is the development and the history of how to get semitones on the harp. First, we should say that the harp is, is, has traditionally been a diatonic instrument. What does that mean? That means that if you play the first note of the scale, in this case is C, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, that's called the diatonic scale, just like the white keys of the piano. So, ever since the harp has been invented, as far as we know, of course it's thousands of years old, but it's been tuned to that diatonic scale. So the next thing is, what the first time one of those black keys were needed, what happened? Well, nobody knows for sure, but we can make some guesses. One possibility is you could just tune that, let's say you needed a C-sharp, you want a C-sharp, you could just tune it in. Now the problem there is when you need the C-natural again, you got a problem. One thing you could do if you wanted to change keys, that works, because if you wanted to go to the key of G, C, D, E, F, you need an F-sharp, so you tune all your Fs up to F-sharp, that takes care of the problem. Now you're in the key of G. But what happens if you need what in musicians call an accidental? That's where we first start our problem. Well first I guess we have to define what is an accidental. An accidental is a note in a tune that doesn't occur naturally. It's just needed there one time. For example the most obvious case would be You Are My Sunshine. You need a D-sharp there, that's called an accidental because it doesn't naturally occur in the scale. So, what are the various ways to achieve that accidental? Well, to me, to get that accidental, the most obvious way, to me, the first way to occur would be this. Let's see, you're going to play that same tune, You Are My Sunshine. You have that D natural. Well, one way to do it, at least the Paraguayans do it, they just put their fingernail at the base of the soundboard. Listen. As you put your fingernail at the base of the string and you try to guess approximately where that semitone would be, and what you're doing here is you're short, basically shortening the string with your fingernail, D, D sharp, that's the least technical way to achieve it. It's not a super uh, clear tone, but it works. 